No, seriously, no. Thank you guys for, for taking any sort of interest in, in what I have to say right now. No, seriously, no. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Um, ask me, no, sh no, shoot. Uh, ask me anything you want to about Cybernetic Horizon. Um, yeah, we need um, a power bomb surger. Yeah. No, we, we have to have it. We have to have it, um, because that's the one thing that's been holding Cyber Dragons back since the structure deck. I mean, you guys never gave us a power bomb searcher, you know? Uh, and at that, that'd be really cool to have a power bomb searcher that could be searched by core. That would be really cool. No, no, I'm not budging on it. It's gotta happen, it's gotta happen. Blackwing support. Yeah, no, I'm still here. So, so, I mean, it's, it's not gonna happen? Man, I really thought, no, no, it's, I mean, look, you gotta get, give us something. If we're not gonna get a power bond searcher, and I, I, seriously, think about the power bond searcher idea. No, no, just sit on it, just sit on it for now, okay? But if you're not gonna give us that, give us a really good machine duplication target. Yeah, no, that would be really cool. Like, and make it, make it do something crazy. Make it be able to make itself level five. Well, you're the one that's not giving us a power bond searcher or black wing support. <laughs> Alright you guys, today we have some very, very exciting news. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Guys, we are getting new Cyber Dragon monsters. Not just Seagull, not just a Link monster, but we have a new Cyber Dragon monster coming out of Cybernetic Horizon. I called it. I called it, guys, and you know what? And I'm not gonna give up, okay? I'm not gonna give up on this Power Bond Searcher idea. I'm not, because I've been talking about this for years, and I really want to just kind of, like, keep on Konami about it so we can actually get it. I'm trying, guys. I'm really, really trying. Uh, but despite trying despite trying we still don't have the power bond searcher this isn't a power bond searcher but this card cyber dragon hurts that, that i'm about to be talking to you guys about is a fantastic card it is an amazing card i'm super super excited about it you know what you know what let's just let's just get this cheat sheet let's start talking about it okay let's start talking about this thing so of course the same as cyber dragon hurts it is a level one light machine 100 attack 100 defense the stats you, you know you don't really care about <laughs> okay besides the, that it's a cyber dragon and that it's a light so that's that's all you care about, okay? Uh, so, uh, you can only use the one, you can only use one of the two and three effects of this card's name per turn, and only once that turn. So it's a hard once per turn on the two and three effects of this card, which kind of sucks, but it also helps balance the card, and here is why, okay? Uh, so let's get this first effect out of the way. So this card's name is treated um, as Cyber Dragon while it is on the field or in the graveyard. Duh. You know, that's really great. I, I mean, I'm, I'm so glad that they're continuing that, because Cyber Dragons need it, and it's, it's, it's just really good. It's really, really good. So, effect number one solid really good okay works with the deck so effect number two here's what's really good <laughs> this is what i really like if this card is special summoned you can activate this effect this card's level becomes five until the end of this turn and also for the rest of this turn you can't summon special summon monsters except for machines so um that's kind of a downside and it sucks that you know the, it's a hard once per turn to make you know make it level five when it's special summoned so in other words you can machine dupe on this thing but only one of the monsters you know one of the copies of itself that you bring out if you do bring out a copy of itself can become level five you know when it's special summon but having another machine duplication target for link monsters like for Clefor genius for example not bad really really good love it especially with um this next effect okay and especially because you know it's a first effect you know it's treated as cyber dragon so you can still machine dupe on this thing and bring out you know two other cyber dragons that can, that works as well so and in other words we have another cyber dragon core in in that respect so that's very very good so effect number three if this card is sent to the graveyard you can add one other cyber dragon from your deck or graveyard to your hand very, very good. I love this. So I must say that Konami did a fantastic job balancing this card. They did a really, really great job balancing it and everything. I'm just I'm just a little salty because it's not as good as I would like, you know, because once again, biased opinion, guys. Completely biased opinion. But the card is designed very, very great. And you know, in all seriousness, it's a really great card. I'm already in love. <laughs> I am already in love. And I'm already I'm just after after Ziegler and after this, I am so excited, guys. Just I am beyond excited to, to see what else they come out with. Like it's the set's called Cybernetic Horizon, guys. Like cybernetic and all all cats here oh my god it's amazing i've been calling for for cyber dragon support for so long guys so long i feel bad for other yugi tubers i really do you know i call for, i call for larvae moth support i get it i call for, for cyber dragon support i get it I mean, oh gosh, I mean, uh, guys, guys, it, it pays to be Yugi Jesus, okay? It pays to be Yugi Jesus. But anyways, guys, all jokes aside, at this point in this video, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons, and of course to our sponsor, Metamats.com, made by us, designed by you, um, but especially to the patrons. You guys are absolutely fantastic, 
And uh, this is the part of the video where I would normally get into the fan mail, you know, after talking about the card. But I want to actually test the card. So I'm going to print off three copies of this card, throw it in my Cyber Dragon deck, and let's see what happens. All right, you guys. So before I get started, you know, playing this card in my deck, you know, three copies of this card, I have to say that um, the only thing that changed from the last Cyber Dragon deck profile I've done is I went ahead and took out the three gammas and the driver and I put in just these. Uh, for, for the, Obviously, this is a permanent change. This is going to be, you know, for the purposes of this video, kind of demonstrating what this card does and trying to play around with this card and see what boards we can make and stuff. So for this video, um, we're going to be cutting out the gammas, you know, and the driver and, and playing this lineup right here, uh, which works out the best. Uh, plus, uh, you know, you want to cut the gammas out anyways because um, this guy and Dry, of course, have the clause of you can only summon machines. You only special summon machines uh, the turn that you use their effects. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just stick with that. Um, driver, um, driver and Gamma, not the future of the deck. Uh, likewise, I've already replaced them. Um, you guys saw it in my last deck profile. I was playing, you know, Brilliant Cybers a while ago, but I've, I've since replaced them with the uh, Symphonic Warrior engine. It's just it's just better for the deck going forward, and, and um, it's better because, you know, these guys are summon machines and not, you know, us Raph and I, which is a fairy. So, um, even though uh, Brilliant Fusion dumps a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard from deck, which is really good, you know, um, and it makes, a, you know, it's made a machine duplication more um, consistent that way and stuff, you know, um, being able to dump core, of course. But even with all of that, um, with the introduction of more machine duplication targets and stuff, a machine duplication is as consistent as long as you draw it. You don't really need Brilliant Fusion and all that stuff to kind of help uh, make it that much more consistent. So in other words, guys, Brilliant Fusion, Cybers, gone, dead. Um, the only thing I will note, though, um, guitar, uh, the, these, uh, the Symphonic Warrior Cybers I got going on right now um, aren't the best with this card either because um, I was testing this out before I turned the camera on. Uh, so, you know, familiarizing myself with this card, you know, before, um, you know, even more before I showed you guys just now. And um, I caught something. So, I'm um, looking at our cheat sheet here. Um, I'm, ma I'm mainly getting at this last effect. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one other Cyber Dragon from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So, um, of course, you know, all the, all the Cyber Dragon monsters are treated as Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. So, of course, you can, like, you know, recycle good, good Cyber Dragon monsters from your graveyard no problem right like core for example but um if you pitch this um out of your hand for guitar um this is only going to search a regular copy of cyber dragon which isn't terrible um i will note that this is still good with galaxy soldier this is still you know a cyber dragon it's a life for galaxy soldier you can still tribute summon for this thing especially you know two normal summons off of off, off of mics i've done that several times you know to help uh, make uh, the best board possible you know you get you have to you know use everything you can um, this is an older deck of course so it's getting supports and and it's, it's getting better as we get support, guys. Don't, don't get me wrong here. Uh, but what, what I'm trying to get at here, though, is that this card isn't as good as it could be. Uh, not only with the uh, level 5 uh, clause, you know, that being a once per turn deal, but it's um, effect of, um, you know, and it's a search effect being once per turn. Both of those, that kind of hurts both of those effects and hinders this card. But really what hinders it, maybe even possibly more, is not being able to search any Cyber Dragon you want uh, when this is sent to the graveyard and being able to only search Cyber Dragon. But like I said, like I said this isn't it's not terrible because it's this is still cyber dragon of course and you're still getting a search at that you know which is really really good so yeah this is uh this is i mean it's not that big of a deal i just wanted to kind of note that i was uh that i was having those kind of problems um you know i was noticing that um, and i didn't notice it earlier when um i was talking about the cards effect itself so uh playing um playing it this out um i can tell you right now that that's already kind of a kink and you know kind of a balancing act in the deck um it makes the card not as powerful as it could be. I don't know how else to really word it. It really limits the power of the card. But let's see what we get out of this hand. So we got um, a basic Cyber Dragon hand. Um, let's see what we hit off of Reasoning though. So another thing I want to note, um, now that I've drawn Reasoning, uh, that's actually really good that I drew this in my first hand. Um, I want to note that um, the new uh, Cyber Dragon Hurts being a level 1, I really like that. Um, and the reason why I like that is because Core is a level 2, and I've been playing Reasoning. You guys all know this has been my spicy tech. <laughs> like you guys even comment on my cyber dragon deck profiles you're like all right when he gets to reasoning he's gonna say spicy tech <laughs> it's because it is i've been playing this card you know in this deck for for a long time now and uh you know and and the reasoning behind that is because it, it gets you to a monster the levels are all over the place it gets to you get you to a free uh just or anything you know free kaiju um so um and it also can get 
you to a free, uh, you know, machine duplication target, uh, you know, off of Cyber Dragon Core. Or now, you know, in the future, we're going to get to get Hertz off of Reasoning. So that is really, really good. But let's shuffle all these up, though, since we didn't draw the new monster and try to draw the new monster because we don't really want to play hands that we're already used to seeing. We want to see, you know, hands with the new monster. Fin okay, finally. Oh, my gosh. I, I was about to freaking call Konami back and be like, fix your card. It doesn't even work if you can't draw it, okay? <laughs> so, uh, this hand is not this hand is not optimal, uh, but let's go ahead and play it out going first anyways. Uh, I will say that uh, this hand is more of a uh, going second hand. Um, any, any hand where you uh, open up co uh, Cosmic Compass is a going second hand. Um, the reason why is because Cosmic Compass generates tokens based on how many monsters your opponent controls, and if you, uh, you know, if your opponent doesn't control any monsters, then you're not generating any extra tokens, so there's no point in summoning this card. So, <laughs> once again, uh, so, uh, Cosmic Compass um, is just really, really good, and Cyber Dragon's going a second because it's a player maker on his own, but isn't really that great going first. So this card's kind of dead for us, but let's go ahead and try to make the uh, best uh, hand that we can out of this anyways. Uh, starting with um, Symphonic Warrior Guitar. So let's activate Guitar, uh, pitch this guy, and um, let's summon the mics. That'll give us a second normal summon. Uh, this will kick in, giving us uh, Cyber Dragon. Now, this is kind of what I was explaining earlier. Um, this is actually exactly what I was explaining earlier. Um, so this it's not bad. It's not bad that this only searches Cyber Dragon, but let's just say that if this was a uh, machine duplication, for example, instead of um, instead of the uh, compass, um, we would rather search a core, for example, right there, because then we would normal summon core and um, you know machine dupe and go off that way. So um, what I'm saying here, guys, is that uh, that is kind of a hindrance, but it's kind of uh, also necessary because the deck doesn't need to be too broken now, uh, even though I would like it to be, but it doesn't need to be too broken. All right, so for this last one, let's go ahead and play out a whole hand this time, and not only uh, play out a whole hand, but uh, let's play out a broken hand that I, just, that I just rigged up. So um, let's start off by going guitar, and you'll pitch this guy. So this guy, um, when this, you know, when guitar activates, you'll get this mics out, but you'll summon it right here, but you'll see why in just a second. Um, then um, the Hertz will get you a search for a Cyber Dragon, right? Um, and what you do next is you actually uh, use your instant fusion to go into Panzer Dragon, uh, because uh, you use uh, you actually do this. You use your um, mics and your Panzer Dragon to go into Genius. It only requires the two machines, so you stack this in your extra deck, right? And that's cool because if you draw another mics, you can actually pin them, summon this guy back, and you know it's a level five, so that's pretty good. Um, so you go into Genius. It only requires two machines. Um, but why you do that is because you want to get Genius's effect off. Obviously, duh, you know. So uh, you normal summon Cyber Dragon Core, activate Core's effect getting a cyber repair plant and then um, machine duplication um, and the machine duplication will get out uh, two cyber dragons and then after that uh, cleave War genius will kick in and let's just say you get a uh, galaxy soldier because that's really really good so the board's looking really good actually um, on top of that let's actually go ahead and um, act summon galaxy soldier because why not and galaxy soldier will give us a search for another galaxy soldier and uh, this is where we're at right now which is pretty good um, I actually um, th there's several ways you can you can in this board I mean there's several things you could do you can go into Dorindal. um you know uh, we're obviously uh, first off though before i overcomplicate things uh, let's go ahead and uh, first off go into uh, nova okay and then nova you know bring out another cyber dragon and then uh, let's go ahead and slap this infinity on the nova so there, here's where we're at so far um and from here um you can you can go into a uh, Dorindal. um and, uh, and, and Dorindle will, you know, target a guitar during your opponent's turn. That's really good. And you can also, you know, mess up your opponent's hands and stuff. So that is really good. Uh, but what I like to do, um, and we do have another normal summon here. We can technically extend further. Um, we can. Uh, we, we could have gone into, like, a proxy dragon or, like, a Ziegler and, like, gone further. But how I like to end cyber dragon boards, and I want to do this really quick. I mean, I, I might do another hand, but uh, I want to just explain this really quick. Because the Ziegler video, last uh, last video, uh, you guys were like, why did you end uh, last? way instead of ending you know with a uh, ending this way well why, why i like to end uh like why i like to end my boards my cyber dragon boards with Pleiades, um is because is because i like to do this okay and the reason why <laughs> that seems really weird you're like well all you did is you, you gave yourself a, a life for galaxy soldier you know good for you and we haven't used this repair plant yet uh, by the way so we could still and we still have a second normal summon by the way off the mic so technically you know like i said we can do more here and i might do more in just a second you know we could have they searched out golden jet summon golden jet etc etc just kept going right uh you know gone into a proxy dragon dragon uh you know uh, you know i'll play one more after this uh, we'll, we'll see how far we can go the point here though is if we spent this repair plant this turn getting like this golden jet for example let's just say 
we uh, deck then, right? Uh, what uh, bouncing the core to hand does is it gives you a play during next turn, okay? And this is something I've learned with Cyber Dragons is that a lot of the times, and most of the time, it's actually best not to overextend and, like, you know, make the best board you can a lot of the times. Um, believe it or not, a lot of, uh, with Cyber Dragons, a lot of it is, you know, it's it, like, a, like I've explained, you know, before, Cyber Dragons are, are, have been on the cusp of greatness. They can build really, really great boards, but they're also a board buster deck with Chimera Text, you know what I mean? Like, they're just a board buster deck. So that being said, what I find to be really good in Cyber Dragons is to bounce this to hand so that, let's just say, if your opponent outs your entire board, let's just say they out all of this, right? Which isn't hard to do. I mean, plus, you know, especially Sphere Mode is a card, right? So let's just say they out your whole board and then you live till next turn, right? What bouncing the core to your hand does is it gives you a search for repair plants and this repair plants gets you to a Jizukiru and Jizukiru um, <laughs> let, lets you out anything that your opponent can come up with and it lets you go into um chimera tech so that's what it, really what i'm getting at and not only that but um let's just say you didn't even need the jizukiru um that bouncing that quarter hand gives you uh you know a cyber dragon requirements for mega fleets as well so that's really what i'm getting at is that um yeah yeah just bouncing the quarter hand is really really good uh, but let's go ahead and play that out to its full extension so let's get back to where i was just a second ago i know i said that that was the last one you know the last hand but let's play let's get back to, let's rig up that same hand again and, and see how far we can actually go with it. So first up, uh, let's use, uh, I don't know, let's use these two and go into uh, Ziegler, I guess, since we have Ziegler in this deck, and we don't need to go into, like, Proxy Dragon, for example. Um, although Proxy Dragon would open up two zones, just saying, but, like, let's just go ahead and go into uh, Ziegler. So where is that guy? So let's go into Ziegler that we talked about last video, you know, the last, uh, you know, new Cyber Dragon monster we got, uh, which requires um, one Cyber Dragon plus uh, one machine, I believe. Either way, I used uh, two Cyber Dragons, so I think we're good there. And um, let's go ahead and... Over Play these two go into Nova, activate to Nova, summon uh, Cyber Dragon right back out, slap an infinity on top of this. And then from here, um, we can go ahead and uh, Cyber Repair Plant uh, search for Golden Jet. Because once again, we only used uh, one normal summon off of Mike's. We only, <laughs> we only used one normal summon. So technically, we should have, uh, you know, went Mike's, then normal summoned uh, core, and then went Insta Fusion into Panzer Dragon. But you, you, either way, technically, it all it all comes down to the same thing. And this is just an example video. But you guys get it. You guys totally get it. Uh, so a second normal summon, um, you know, go, go into Golden Jet, um, overlay these two. And then once again, uh, this leaves you in that same kind a situation where you can go uh, Pleiades, and uh, in, in this situation, you might not want to go Pleiades. I think that, you know, since we don't have the core to bounce back, you know, for next turn, we're not, like, our goal right here is not securing a play for next turn, it's just going all out on this turn. So since we have done that, I think uh, that the best thing to do is to go into Dorindle, and that's how we end. We end with a Genius, a Guitar, a Galaxy Soldier in hand, um, Infinity Siegler, so um, that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty good. Um, I think that, um, I think that Hertz is a very great addition to the deck and I think that Hertz really helps dodge Effect Veiler as well because um, as you guys know um, you know Effect Veiler is a thing again and I've kind of talked about this so I like, should have no, maybe I forgot to I don't know uh, but I talked about this when I was talking about the card okay so um, I was talking about this when I was talking about the card you know in front of the card wall a minute ago but let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here so to explain what I'm talking about here guys uh, let's rig up four cards the fifth card doesn't matter so let's just make it that let's just make it a dead card because it really literally doesn't matter in this example I'm just literally giving giving you guys an example here. So let's go uh, Galaxy Soldier, and then uh, let's just say they don't. Let's just say they ash that, okay? Let's just say they ash the Galaxy Soldier, sure, or whatever. All right, so they ash Galaxy Soldier. Don't get a search for another Galaxy Soldier. Um, normal summon a Cyber Dragon Core, okay? Normal summon Cyber Dragon Core. Um, they Veiler it. Here's the problem, okay? If they Veiler Cyber Dragon Core, um, what we're stuck with is is nothing like I, we we have nothing we can go into genius or something but like that's really it i mean then the, the overload fusion here like i explained in the ziegler video like you know going into genius right here then like you know overload fusion helps you like you know get to uh chimera tech rampage dragon so you know that really really helps but let's just say that this isn't an overload fusion so let's make it a completely dead card let's make it cosmic compass so let's make it a really dead card right so we got ashed and then we got veilered this sucks because right now if we were to go machine duplication you don't get two cyber dragons you get two cores right so i mean that's still good i mean it's still good for link monsters right uh, but its name is not treated as cyber dragon anymore it's, it's just it's just cyber dragon core so that's th th just really bad i mean we can use these two and go into like genius and then like you know use these two and go into like seeger or something like that we can you still make link monsters but it's not you know it's not that good it's just it's just not um what's really good 
good. And what's better is actually I have to applaud Konami for this. Uh, this is better. <laughs> this is way better. And uh, let me use the exact same example um, to, to demonstrate why. Okay, so the same exact hand. Um, you know, once again, fifth card doesn't matter. Um, let's cut core out. Okay, let's replace. The only card that's different is uh, we replaced core with this guy. All right, we replaced core with the new um, the new Hertz. Right. So let's do the same thing again, where we go um, Galaxy Soldier. Um, yeah, then this gets ashed. Right. You go normal summon. They, they Valor it? Okay, let's just say they do Valor it, right? Like, the normal summon it, I mean, the, the, this effect is not activating or anything. Um, let's just say this does get Valored. Um, we machine dupe on this. Um, you can go ahead and actually bring out two more copies. And then this, when it's special summoned, you one of these that you bring out the special summoned, you can make a level five. Just make it a level five. And then what you do is you use these two to go into genius. And then you're right back in business. Whichever one you made level five, like you're golden. I mean, and then just, I don't know, like, you know, do this little number or something like that. And then uh, there you go. Like you're able to actually do a little more and play around hand traps a little more with Hertz. And that's kind of what makes it really good. Is it kind of a, you know, uh, it, it, it makes it, I, I don't really know how, expl how to explain this. Um, you know, Cyber Dragons are an older deck. They need every card in their hand to be good. Um, but they, and, and, and uh, because of that, um, I was playing a Gamma, for example. You know, I was talking about Gamma earlier. I was playing Gamma in the deck to try to protect um, your, your guitar because, you know, if you go guitar and you pitch a card and your opponent ashes it, for example, that really really hurts because you just lost a card and you just have like this guitar here that's not really doing anything for you so i added gamma and you know to try to you know help that so if your opponent goes ash on your guitar you can go gamma you know and it's a little less painful you know um, not to mention you know you like us like i was saying though you 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 uh, do it on the guitar so uh, when you go into when you get that gamma and that driver out you you're able to make omega as well so uh, that was my logic behind that uh, but to make a long story short here okay that was i was doing that to try to help cyber dragons but what konami seems to be doing is making the the deck itself just be able to play through hand traps which is really great um i i, I like that i like that a lot more um than than just giving the deck a hand you know its own archetype specific hand trap for example or or you know trying to force in uh you know the hand traps or something like that i actually like this a lot better being able to just play through and not care i like this a lot more um i i can't tell you how many games i've lost you know uh, playing cyber dragon where you go normal summon they go Baylor and you lose it's just it's really really bad and I feel like this new card kind of fixes that um, the only thing I will say though is that with cybernetic horizon what needs to happen um, not not only though um, do we need you know uh, more rank five cyber dragon supports uh, which would be really great you know so that people can you know play rank five cyber dragons to see if that you know builds the best but we also seriously konami if you are listening we also need fusion support out of cybernetic horizon it's got to happen okay um it's got to happen because you know players want to play fusion cyber dragons too they want to play fusion cyber dragons it's got to happen and um it's really really fun playing uh, fusion cyber dragons power bond otk guys if we had a power bond a tier one format you know a, a cyber dragon tier one format with with power bond running around it would be a super fun format guys it really really would and you guys are thinking right now that i'm crazy like oh my gosh that would be fun there'd be otks everywhere and this and that guys you guys are forgetting like a cyber dragon format where cyber dragons are like tier one like a really good deck you guys are forgetting that chimera tech's a card you can use your opponent's cyber dragon and chimera tech and crap against them too okay <laughs> like it's really good like it'd be a really fun format that's another reason why i'm super super excited about cybernetic horizon not just because this is my favorite deck and i love to play it and i'm mega biased but because um i really feel like it would make for a mega fun format for everybody i really do uh but you know that remains to be seen we don't know how good cyber dragons are, are gonna get we don't know what you know new other new cards we're gonna be getting out of cybernetic horizon guys we have no idea all i know guys is that in cybernetic horizon konami has been doing a very good job thus far giving us cyber dragon support we don't know what all you know what the rest of that support is going to be yet we have no idea but i am very very excited for it very very excited for it and if konami once again if konami if you are listening to me right now okay you've been doing a great job but we still want the power bond searcher subscribe